And we begin with the controversy surrounding Lotta Plantation. Today, the NAACP sounded off on an event that was planned there for June 3rd. That event promotion said that stories would be told through the eyes of the plantation owner and referred to the people enslaved on the site as bondsmen. That event was canceled after backlash and Mecklenburg County ended its 40 year relationship with the historic site, which is now closed indefinitely. The county says it will consider how to use the site in an appropriate way moving forward. And now we're learning a protest is planned there tomorrow on Juneteenth. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner joins us live. Chloe, today a news conference to call for change was interrupted by two men in Civil War era attire, and that didn't go over too well, did it? It did not, Fred. It was a big distraction and interruption. But activists say that this entire controversy, controversy shows the need for accountability and change. There's a planned protest outside of the gates of the historic Lotta Plantation on Saturday, Juneteenth. It's spurred by a now canceled event, Kingdom Come, advertised as telling the story through the eyes of a slave owner. We're going to make sure that there's a follow through because we're not letting this go. The county acted swiftly, cutting ties with the nonprofit that had been running the historic site and then temporarily shutting it down altogether. Ian Campbell, the former manager of the Lotta Plantation, defended the event and told WCNC Charlotte he would not do an interview. Corinne Mack, the head of the Charlotte NAACP, thinks he showed up to her press conference in Civil War era attire. Get your mind right or I'll help you get it right. I'm sick of this. Stop hurting black people. This is a picture of Ian Campbell. This man says he is not him. Mack says she won't let the interruption distract from her message. To find ways to elevate the story of black people in this country. It's important that everyone understands that black people have gone through such atrocities and such trauma and that trauma continues. As the county considers its next move, Max says the NAACP would like to see a place for black people who were incarcerated and those with the greatest barriers. In my mind, why not utilize this particular land to do something that is really going to affect equity, truly affect equity. By the way, the Carolina Raptor Center is just next door, a completely separate entity, not associated, but they say they have taken a hit from this. They will be having free events tomorrow for Juneteenth. Reporting live, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte. Chloe, thank you.